In this course, you'll learn how to lead virtual and remote teams effectively. This course is broadly divided into four lessons. Lesson 1 introduces the concept of virtual and remote teams. Lesson 2 presents a practical approach to leading and managing remotely. Lesson 3 deals with the importance of communication in virtual and remote teams. Lesson 4 focuses on motivation, a key element in managing people remotely. Let's take a look at the objectives in this course. Welcome to Mortimer English Club and the program English for You Level 2. The Story Linda and Klaus Meyer are from Cologne in Germany. Together with their English friends Mary and George Taylor, who are from London, they are on holiday in the Canadian metropolis Vancouver. The two couples are staying at a nice little hotel near Stanley Park. They are looking forward to an activity vacation with cycling, hiking, sightseeing and shopping. Unit 1 Klaus sees an advertisement for a restaurant in a tourist magazine and phones Mary and George in their room. Welcome to the Stepstone Workforce Planning Practices. This, the second session in the series, is designed to help you understand the issues faced by our prospects and customers as they try to maximize the positive impacts of workforce planning. So let's start by looking at the objectives of this practice. Please click the next slide button. As the disease progresses, enzymatic activity shifts more and more from acetylcholine esterase to butyrylcholine esterase. Butyrylcholine esterase is distributed widely throughout the nervous system. It is especially present in areas of the brain associated with Alzheimer's, such as the hippocampus, the amygdala, and the thalamus. Rivastigmine is the only active substance able to inhibit both these enzymes significantly.